This is easily one of the most insane things that we have ever seen the mainstream media do, and that is saying a lot, but this shows you also how completely desperate they are to have Kamala Harris win the election, because they are terrified of Trump. And now we're going to be taking a look at this absolutely wild story, where they completely manufactured the total opposite narrative of what Joe Rogan was saying in this video clip. They decided to share this video around on social media, MSNBC did this, where they took like this these clips of Joe Rogan to make it appear like he was praising Kamala Harris when nothing could be further from the truth. Unbelievable. MSNBC deceptively edited this clip to make it look like Joe Rogan is- She is a strong woman. She is uh, a person who served overseas twice. She in medical units she was a congresswoman for eight years yeah she is a person of color she's everything you want she's gonna win no she's not she can win they just want no trump no matter what he's not wrong about that because obviously msnbc will literally do anything including creating fake narratives and lying and this video should be shared by the way so make sure that you leave a like on this video make sure that you share this video as well because unfortunately there's still a lot of people out there which blows my mind i do truly do not understand this, who 100% just believe whatever the mainstream media tells them. This shows you that the mainstream media is nothing but a bunch of lying crooks, okay? And they will create whatever false narrative, and they, I mean, we've caught them lying just constantly, constantly with fake news over the past, you know, 10 years. But now, they are, have just taken it to a, a completely new, insane level. So, Tulsi Gabbard jumped in on all of this as well. MSNBC is, again, exposed as a propaganda machine for the Democrat elite and how they will brazenly try to deceive the American people. Not sure if you guys caught this, but uh, MSNBC was exposed today for yet another set of lies. They deceptively edited together this video of different Joe Rogan comments to make it appear that he was singing the praises of Kamala Harris. She's gonna win. No, she's not. She can win. She is a strong woman. She is uh, a person who served overseas twice. Which, by the way, if anybody has a brain whatsoever, they would know that he's not even talking about Kamala Harris because she's never served. <laughs> Medical <laughs> unions. She was a congresswoman for eight years. Yeah. She is a person of color. She's everything you want. She's gonna win. No, she's not. She can win. They just want no Trump, no matter what. This is not reflective at all of the truth of what Joe Rogan said. Uh, and I think MSNBC has since taken this post down. But what's really serious here is that not only does Joe Rogan deserve an apology, there's actually something far bigger at stake here. This is yet another example of how MSNBC is working hand in glove with the Democrat elite and the Kamala Harris campaign uh, to try to spread lies, Sim simply things that are not true. It is purely a propaganda platform and that they are using this in order to try to help Kamala Harris get elected. These people need to be held accountable for what they're doing because otherwise they will continue to do this, continue to abuse their platform and their power to try to deceive the American people and help her get elected. Not only did they panic and delete this because they knew that they completely effed up by posting this, but also, breaking, Joe Rogan is suing MSNBC for $30 million for editing, splicing a video to make it sound like he was pro Kamala Harris when he was actually criticizing her. Sue them into the Stone Age. So this is going to get really, really ugly for MSNBC, and this should be a wake-up call to anybody who's still believes the mainstream media that they are liars and they are 100% working for the Democrat party okay they are not about the truth they're not they don't have unbiased opinions they are not about objectivity it is all about pushing narratives that benefit the Democrats. So, with this being said, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.